Heather, that was awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so that much. Was, that was so good. Hey, I want to pick your brain because the 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 competitive cauldron. Yes. How did you because I, I so I coach um high school boys. Okay. And I've thought about doing something like that. And you know, you look at Anson Dorrance and some of these other things, but I just never have found the right fit. Like it, it was just his, you know, when you have a staff of him had probably staff of 10 and 12 right. people and state managers, they can freaking mark everything down. What kind of, how was your setup for that? No, it was a uh, daunting to try and start. So I think that's why I did it in my spring season because it was just a short season and I could kind of like lightly try it out. Um, so each day players were giving points based off of different components of our session. So first of all, like they all got a point for wearing their practice gear or if they're missing gear, they would lose a point, right? Something as simple as that with college stuff and being on time. Um, you didn't get any points because that's an expected behavior, but if you're lost, you lose five points right away. So you're negative five in the hole. And then we ranked our technical warm up, our small side games, our expanded games, and our play after practice. Myself and Lexi, my assistant, and then our other like part time, uh, the three of us would get together and rank them on a scale of a one to a four. Um, bonus points being given if they were on a team, like in the small sided games at one, they would get an additional amount of points. And then always effort and attitude were five points maximum because I those are two things that despite your level, because to be honest, like we've got some girls that are pretty rough, mm -hmm. right? Right now we're building. Um, and then we've got some very talented girls. But I feel like energy and attitude, if you can give those two, you're going to be like – better regardless. So I'd rather have those as higher points. So I created a spreadsheet in Excel or Google Sheets or whatever it is. And all of the equations were put into there. So then on the main page, they could see their ranking. And uh, it was, you know, a little bit of a shock to them at first, like they were a little butt hurt at first about like some of the, like, like I didn't even put their names on it. Like I was that nice. I just gave you a number. Right. But they're like coach, some of the girls, like they're really upset about like somebody else is ranked higher than them. And they're all talking about it. And I'm like, somebody's asking you what your number is and you don't want to tell them your number. Don't tell them your number. Mm -hmm. Like this isn't to be competitive with everybody else. This is to be competitive with you. So like, ignore all the bullshit around you and, you know, like, you know, just worry about where your number was at last week compared to this week. And are you getting better? And they're like, Oh, I'm like, yeah, it's not based off of like playing time or anything like that. This is just for you. Like, so we did things like that. Um, I just found that since my practice structure is so similar in the general layout and format every day, of doing the technical warm up, the small sided games. And if we skipped something because maybe we did a walkthrough or something like that, then you just don't do points in that section or, you know, that are was you, the easiest way. Just listening to you explain that, are you kind of a, a straight shooter when it comes as a coach? You seem like you're very transparent. Like you're like, look, stop getting butt hurt. Like just move on. <laughs> You know what I mean? You're, some people were like, all right, listen, da, 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 but you seem like, look, this is it. That's how we're doing it. Let's rock and roll. You're right. either on the bus or you're off the bus. I've had to get into that role, I think, more because like my time, I don't have time in my day to BS you like anymore. Like if you're going to be a part of a program, like whether it's the academy coaches that I work with, right? And that coach our kids in academy or whether it's the players at Lakeland, like this is our mission and this is what we're doing. And we all need to get into this because there's not enough time to have piddly little arguments about, well, should we, or well, oh, my feelings were hurt or no, your feelings shouldn't be hurt. Like your feelings are there because you probably feel a little guilty that you didn't work a little bit harder than she did. Um, but no, I try to be as transparent as possible I think that that's important. Uh, you know, I don't really sugarcoat things. Uh, 
I don't hide my emotions on my face very well, I've been told. <laughs> so like someone will be talking to me, I'll be like, and I'm like, no, nope, fix the face. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, last little comment, then I can let you go. Um, the the nails might be the nicest looking nails I've seen on a coach. Thank you. It's my <laughs> one little thing that I get a chance to do that is like just nice and pretty for me because like otherwise I'm wearing leggings and a sweatshirt and my hair is a mess and like I'm putting on like five different layers of things to stay warm in this lovely Sheboygan, Wisconsin area. But yeah, the nails are the one thing that I get a chance to do just for me. That's awesome. And you got to do that. Like you were talking about earlier, um, maybe the meditation in the morning or whatever, uh, maybe not as much as you'd like to, but um, it sounds like you're in a good spot. It's really cool to kind of heard where you were reluctant to get into soccer. You kind of realize you're pretty good. And then just to kind of, like I said, I think it's so cool that it's more about the people around you that have kind of picked you up and kept pushing you along on this journey. It's so stinking cool to like, you know, you step away from teaching and then the club calls and then you're there. And then, you know, now the school calls and it just, it just seems like you even said it earlier about um, if when I asked about your future aspirations, like, well, if someone calls, <laughs> I right? would be open to it. And that I'm seems just say no to the national team. Like if they're calling <laughs> my phone, right? Like, like yeah. uh, you know, let me... you know I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, right now it's not really a nice time. I'm going to be like, peace out. Like I'm well, going. Especially if they say, we just want you to come for a couple sessions, then you know. Then I know I'm, I'm yeah, they want you in for it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. <laughs> how was the, how was the B course? Um, it was intense. In oh, was it? No, I finished in December. Okay. Um, you know, looking back at it, like I said, doing it in the fall of my first fall of coaching yeah, that's a lot. was a lot, but it was probably good for me because it made me look at things through a higher level lens than what I had been at like club. So it was good. It was intense. You know, the biggest thing I always get out of those things is the people that I get to work with and get to connect with. And I wasn't able to do the one in Rockford. So that I uh, went out to the Kansas City one. And that was cool because it wasn't even like clubs that I normally had a chance to work with. Right. It was, you know, um, Kansas City sporting, it was a lot of rush guys, you know, so a lot of guys from different areas that I normally don't get a chance to talk to and get to know. And it, it helps me with connections. You know, it's pretty cool to see the soccer community like grow and connect and you run into people later on and you stay in touch. But um, I'd recommend doing it. I'd recommend definitely making sure that, you know, it's going to be a couple of nights of course calls a week with a couple of nights of group calls for projects and then probably some hours of doing work on your own too. But yeah. That's awesome. If, you, if you're thinking That's, about it. Well, I've got my D. Okay. I'm just like stuck there. I just don't know if I want to go and put the time and money into, um, cause I don't really have any aspiration. I mean, I'd love to go maybe to the college game one day or something, but yeah. I just, I feel like not everyone's blessed. Like your opportunity just to go straight into like the head coaching thing is pretty, right? pretty cool. Um, mo cool. You know, a lot of people go into assistant and they're just kind of there and then you have to go bounce somewhere else. And um, just kind of like where my, where I am, my family's at, you know, in terms of my kids are at an age where they're starting to go off to college and all that kind of stuff. We're kind of settled. Yeah. Um, but I always love learning. And every time I talk to people, when I listen to that, I'm like, oh man, that'd be so cool to talk to other coaches and l hear what they're doing and work with other players that aren't from this area and all of that. So, yeah, I, I laugh because people are like, so when are you getting your A? It's almost like when you have, yeah. when you have a kid and then the, all of a sudden they're like, when are you having your next kid? Right. <laughs> and you're like, I just had this one here. Like, yeah. <laughs> let me, let me apply this stuff. Let me kind of, I need some time to digest what the heck I just got you know, overwhelmed with. And then if that opportunity comes. 
I do want to get into the educator course series. I feel like, you know, I was talked to a little bit about that and listened in a little bit on what all that would entail. And with my teaching background, I'm like, well, duh, that makes like Mm -hmm. total sense. But, you know, my boyfriend and director of coaching here was like, Heather, when are you going to do this? And I'm like, but it's such a cool opportunity. (laughs) I can't say no to soccer. That's my curse. That's the voice of reason. Right, exactly. And whoa, whoa, hold up. Someone's yeah. got it. Let's reel it back in a little bit. But that's yeah. so cool. I just love it because going from, you know, introverted, you know, dealing with whatever you were going through, it just like we all do when we're growing up to oh, now yeah. it's talking about, I'd love to go in front of other coaches and lead them and make them better coaches. And that's so awesome to see that kind of like full circle growth. 